Hello everyone and welcome to NetWiz YouTube channel. Last time we learned about encryption capabilities of Ansible Vault and also about special variable files. But adding variables into Playbook is not limited to using just variable files. Sometimes there might be a need to include variables in the Playbook itself or even create them dynamically during the Playbook execution. There is a special module in Ansible called SetFact. It is created for the purpose of defining variables in the playbook itself. You just create names and assign values to variables that you can later reference in your playbook. It might seem odd why we want to include the variables in the playbook itself when we have such a convenient way of adding them via variable files explicitly or implicitly. But there is one more very useful property of setFact module it lets you manipulate your variables in different ways. And I'm going to demonstrate one of them soon, but before, let's introduce one more way of adding variables, dynamic registration. Every task in Ansible that produces some output can also capture that output and create a variable from it. To do that, we simply add register parameter to the task. However, not always the output we get can be used straight away. Let's say an example. We want to capture the name of SNMP community string from one Cisco router and we want to write it into a variable. To do that, we can use RS command module and give it a command show running config pipe include SNMP server community. This will only show us a line of config with our community string. For simplicity, let's ignore the fact that we could have multiple communities and just pretend for now that we only have one. Then we can capture this output with register parameter and write it into a variable called SNMP community. Now let's have a look what this variable looks like. To do that, we are going to use the debug module in Ansible. The MSG parameter can output a message that includes a variable and it does it uh, during the execution of a playbook. So let's do that in practice. I'm going to demonstrate what, um, what playbooks we've got and we are going to run a playbook called register SNMP community. And you can see that it's exactly as it was on a previous slide. So I'm gonna run it now. Ansible playbook, register SNMP community. Okay, so it executed successfully and we can see the debugging output and it shows quite a bit of information. Now we can see that this uh, variable that we created and that which value have been uh, displayed to us via the debug module is actually a, um, it is a dictionary with multiple keys. Two main keys are changed and failed, which indicate whether a configuration change was required to create this variable and that stands at false because it didn't and failed means whether this task failed or not and that also stands at false because the task was successful. Now we've got other two keys which are std out and std out lines which um, just format the output that we get from the actual device as a single line or multiple lines. So the difference between these two is that the first one, std out, is just a single line of text, while std out lines is formatted as a list, and you can reference individual strings or individual elements from that list using a an index. Now that's quite a lot of information, but what we also can do is we can also refer to these keys one by one if we wanted to. So if we want to only show uh, the contents of std out, for example, we can do it in this way. We can add the key name uh, with a dot after the actual uh, name of the variable in the, in the debug message. So let's do that and see what we get from that. I'm going to edit uh, our playbook and add the key name at the end. So we are interested in dot std out. And I'm going to run this same playbook once again. And this time we can see that the output 
is much smaller and we only see a single line of config. But the problem is if we want to use this variable to configure that community on other routers now, we still cannot use it as it stands at the moment because uh, we captured not only the community name as such but we captured the entire configuration line and if we wanted to filter it down to only the community name then we need some more manipulation and here is where set fact module comes in handy what we can do with this set fact is we can um, create a new variable and to give the value for that new variable we just filter out all the information from uh, the previous variable. So in our case we've got a line of configuration which has SNMP server community and we also got keyword RO which stands for read only after the actual community name and using couple of tasks with the set fact module we can filter them out. So we take the input uh, our SNMP community dot STD out key and we parse it through a replace construct which just replaces some part of a string with another part and in our case we are replacing in the first task we are replacing SNMP server community with nothing so we're just deleting it and in the second task we are uh, replacing the RO bit with nothing and in the end we just get the actual community name without any other output. Let's just test that it works and to cut on um, editing the playbooks I've got another one which is called register SNMP community filtered and if I show it to you you will see that it's exactly as it is in the slide so I'm going to run it now and spell playbook uh, register SNMP community filtered And there we go, we can see that we've got multiple tasks. And finally, our message which only shows us the community string itself without any other output. Of course, we could probably use the entire line if we wanted to configure the same community on other routers, we could do that. But if we wanted to modify it in some way, let's say we apply different ACLs at the end of this line on different routers, it's always best to have just the community um, string value itself in a uh, variable. So this is it for this time. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.